How to lower your rate into increasing interest rate environment. So one of the ways that you can do it is buying down your interest rate or otherwise known as buying points. So I got Sammy Olopoulos here with Guaranteed Rate. Sammy, tell us a little bit about what does that mean? I mean, I, yeah, I can buy down my rate, right? Sure, yeah, you can, you can reduce your interest rate uh, by paying a little extra to, to get that difference. Um, there's no really uniform way. It's just based on that day's market price or when you're ready to lock your interest rate. Okay, so so you know, I, interest rates are constantly changing. Let's say I am um, I'm getting a rate of six and a half percent. Okay, mm -hmm. and I want to buy down my interest rate. So if I pay a point, does that mean that my interest rate goes from six and a half percent down to five and a half percent? Nope. It uh, it actually okay. it just depends on that day's uh, market. Sometimes if you go from six and a half percent to six percent or to six and a quarter percent, you might have to pay a point. And it really depends on whether or not it makes sense. And that's why you know I'm here to kind of assist. All right, so when it makes sense. Yeah, like, so sense. I would have to think that it makes more sense if this is like your forever house, right? You're not planning on leaving versus, hey, look, maybe this is a pit stop because Correct. it's a, um, a two-bedroom house and I'm planning on having three kids type of scenario, right? Yeah, you have to see what your return on investment is. Uh, just to give you an example, if, um, if your cost is $1,000 to reduce it a quarter percent, um, you may not have enough um, of a rate and return on that. In other words, it might take you seven or eight years to recoup, recoup that cost, right. at which point doesn't make sense. So and if you're going to be in that house seven or eight years, so this is what he's you know saying here. So if you're going to be in that house for seven, eight percent, that's your break even, right? But also if say you're in that house in year four or year three, interest rates really dip down. Now it makes sense in order for you to refinance. And so exactly. you refinance into that lower loan, then you've actually ended up losing money because, well, say if you refinance four years into it, your break even would have been another four years. Correct. Right? Yeah. I mean, sometimes, again, most of the time, um, it doesn't make sense um, to certain customers. It just depends on how much you're borrowing, what the difference in monthly payment is, and that's how you kind of determine what your return on investment is in the timeline of it. Okay. So figuring out when it makes sense, it doesn't seem like that's a me, Mr. Real Estate Agent job. That's something that you need to talk to your loan officer about. Correct. So are you guys able to kind of run those numbers, the nitty gritty, like, hey, look, if if you pay down this point, you pay a point today, it decreases your rate from six and a half to six and, and a quarter, right? Or six, whatever. Right, or six, whatever it might be. And then, okay, you can figure out, well, it's going to take you this long in order to pay it off. It's going to save you this much. Like, is that everything that you go through with them? Yeah, exactly. So sometimes you can look at it from every eighth of a percent, every quarter of a percent, every half a percent. And, you know, the one thing to keep in mind is that the more money you pay, Typically, it means to lower the interest rate. However, you know, it's also going to increase your closing costs. Right. So closing costs. I mean, closing costs can get expensive, especially, especially Massachusetts, we're actually pretty lucky. Closing costs are relatively low here. Correct. Yep. Um, you know, I know in Delaware, for example, a buyer has to pay 1.5% of the purchase price for transfer tax, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. So depending on what state you're in, I'd have to imagine the increase, the closing costs can really be even more of a burden, correct? Correct. Yeah. So sometimes um, you, you may want to keep on to that cash. And again, um, if the difference in payment isn't, it's if, it, if it's uh, negligible, you may not want to do that. You want to keep that cash to put, put in your kitchen or to, I don't know, buy that new lawnmower or whatever the case may be. Right. Okay. So basically what we need to know is, yes, interest rates are increasing, right? We yep. can actually lower our rate buying down the rate or paying points at closing. Correct. It is not the perfect solution for everybody. It Correct. depends upon situation, yep. right? Um, it's going to increase your closing costs. Correct. And I'm assuming that your recommendation was that they should probably reach out and talk to their lender or you, right, yeah. um, to go over whether the situation really makes sense to them. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, everybody's situation is different. You know, you can never compare your neighbor's uh, loan to yours. Um, you know, you might have other things. You might have short-term, long-term goals, and that's why um, I have a job. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and so actually, real quick, I just thought about this. Does, does your credit score affect the points and like if you're paying a point, like if you have a lower credit score, is it going to cost you more? Is there any kind of calculation in like that? Yeah, okay. potentially. There's uh, loan level adjustments that will impact your final pricing. But, um, you know, you paying a point might uh, might be more expensive than somebody paying a point um, with perfect credit or with less than perfect credit. It just gotcha. depends. Now, I know interest is tax deductible, yep. right? Is paying Is paying a point is that tax deductible? Do you well, know? it is somewhat of um, it, you know, prepaid interest. It's something you want to talk to your CPA about. Uh, typically, the ones they'll they'll be able to tell you whether or not it's tax deductible. Okay, so passing it off to another person. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm Jeff Chubb uh, with the Chubb Homes team. Uh, we're brokered by EXP Realty. Should you have any questions about buying or selling a house? That's what we're here for. Uh, if you have any questions about 
loans and you know whether buying points or interest rates or if you're thinking about buying a house or refinancing a house sure, yeah. probably should talk to this guy sammy yeah. how do they get a hold of you yeah sure my um uh, so i work for guaranteed rate my name is sammy Eliopoulos, and uh, you can call me uh, directly at 617-532-3965 thanks for watching